Monique Andrews with ESPN. Ray, I'm just curious. I think there are a lot of people in the United States specifically who are working to try to understand what's happening in Hamas, Gaza, Palestine, Israel right now. How are you consuming that information? What's your kind of suggestion to people who are looking to try to educate themselves? But in you know the West, oftentimes, especially on the specific conflict, it becomes difficult to find that information. I think you just can't be afraid to, to say what you believe in. You know, it's not about consuming information or trying to be right, politically correct. I think it's it's just about doing what God intends us all to do. And, and that's to stand on the good word of treating everyone with respect, compassion and love. You know, everybody, for instance, I want to generalize everybody um, into one group because that, that becomes so divisive. You know, when you say everybody's acting like this, so I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm just saying. When you're paying attention to us or you're aware of what's going on, and you're conscious of what's going on in the world and you feel it. then what are you going to do about it? Are you going to write about it? Are you going to tweet about it? Are you going to be out there with them? Are you going to protest? You know, are you going to plan and strategize for what we can do better as a community, meaning a community that stands with unity and liberation? Oh, not just for one race or one religion, because they justify it on these means or these grounds. You know, so much history to uncover. And most of it is just not told to us. And it's just just disappointing and it's saddening when, you know, the truth can't be revealed to the children that are watching us and they're just watching our world go up into war. So, you know, I'm just using this time to, to really address, you know, I'm standing with everyone that stands on, on the righteous things that's going on in our world and protecting everybody as one.